today we're going to do a question called counter game so it says okay there's louise and richard so they have a game and they pick a number now if they have the first step that they do is that they check that if it is a power of two if it is then they divide it by two if not they reduce it by the next lower number which is a power of two reduce it by so there's a mistake that i made i was seeing i was thinking it would go to the next number whoever reduces the number to one wins the game louis always started starts so for example if you've got uh 132 as a number and you know uh, let's say louis starts so i've got uh, i start with 132 and uh, once that 132 so it's not a power of two so we are going to reduce it by the next lowest obviously 128 so if you go to 2 4 8 16 32 64 uh, 128 is a power of 2 right so this becomes 4 so this was Louis's turn then it's Richard's turn and he's gonna do 4 divided by 2 so it will be 2 and again Louise is gonna divide it by 2 it will be 1 so since Louise did the reduction she wins right initially she wins the game right update if it is initially set to counter one richard wins louise cannot win so if it is one then obviously we need to just add a condition saying one so the constraint are that there will be 10 test cases at a time and 2 to the power of 64 is the highest right so 2 to the power of 64 so if it's a 64 which is so long should work or if you want to go larger you can use double as well i have used long which would be enough for the test cases given in java if you're using something like c plus plus you might need to use long long or an unsigned because the first bit it would be so this is a question the first thing it's a bit manipulation question right bit manipulation question now to check if a number is a power of two there are two ways to do this right one is you take a list or a set i guess and you generate all the possible powers of two two four six eight sixteen dot 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 and <coughs> every time you get a number you check if it contains in the list right which is a pretty uh okay way to do it probably it's also a right way i wouldn't say it has lesser time complexity another one is if you're using java if you notice something whenever it's a power of two there's only one bit set except for when it's one so one zero amounts to two uh one double zero is four one triple zero is eight one four zero six sixteen so if you see if there is only one set bit right it would be a power of two here we don't worry about negative numbers and worry that the first signed bit is set to one so since if it's minus two it will obviously be one one zero so it should have this thing but it's still uh, because the test case constraint says that it's always going to be a positive number so once you sort of figure out how to figure out the that it's the power of two you can draw easily uh, generate the number uh, so the logic that we have taken is right i start with n is equal if it's n equal to one as given in the question and okay it's always louise's chance so while n is greater than one you just check if it's uh if the number of long dot bit count is something that tells you okay how many number of set bits are there if it's greater than one then that means it's not a multiple of two right um and uh, then okay obviously we need to find the next uh, bit the next closest value to it right so the logic i've used is just keep uh, going till i this would usually be a very uh, small operation because the moment you get a very large number you just need to generate it once right so i'm saying let's say you have that many number of zeros the closest one of the second bit that you generate subtract it and make it a very small value like 10 15 or something in most of the cases right so i generate this using this particular logic i just 
go up till that particular value the moment it is greater i break and i know what power of 2 it is reduce it by 1 and obviously it says that you need to reduce this by uh, the next the number right um, or else obviously it says that uh, you divide it by 2 the moment uh, if after this operation itself you uh, br uh, reach 1 you break it you say okay I am done I have reached 1 so I am going to break or else it and this just flips the chances so if it is a chance of Louis then return Louis if it is Richard then return Richard so the main part I probably think was to check if a number is a power 2 in Java you can just do integer dot bit count right so read trading on that point if it's a power of 2 it's only going to have one set bit be careful about negative numbers since in that case it can have two set bits because in any computer if it's uh, 30, 16, 32 bits the first bit is always the sign bit the rest of the 31 bits are used for determining the number hence you always see the limit be 2 to the power of 31 minus 1 or 2 to the power of 64 minus 1 or 63 minus 1 that's how it's always going to be all right thanks for watching